Hello everyone, my name is Nerd Premier, and welcome to another unboxing video. Today, what I have for you guys is this gaming mouse. Yes, gaming mouse. For all of you gamers out there that just need better equipment but for a very affordable price. So, here we go. This mouse arrived not too long ago, but I can already tell by the packaging that it's gonna be pretty nice. Also, I did see some pictures because you know how else would I have ordered it. It does seem pretty nice. It seems very weird and technical. You guys might like that. So yeah, here we have it. This is how it's supposed to look in just like a little black and white kind of art kind of thing on the side. Okay, so I guess it does have the options of golden and white. Um, this one is black, as shown there. There's nothing really else, the company name, that's it, and specifications of the stuff and the features and all that, you guys can, whatever, you guys can figure that out yourself. And here we go, let's just unbox this right away. Okay, so packaging, not the best. It's like, not straight, it's a little piece of cardboard and that's pretty much it. So yeah. I'm gonna set that aside. I can already tell the wiring for this looks extremely nice. I'm gonna put this right over here for now. But here we have it. Here we go. This is the, the gaming mouse. I mean, it's not too bad. It fits, it fits the size of my hand. It's pretty nice. It doesn't, it's not abnormally weird. I mean, there are some things that you might just do without, but then again, this does have nine buttons. Uh, two of them are the regular buttons, so I don't know if you want to count that. Seven if you don't. But yeah, uh, we have three buttons on the left side, two, or three right on the top, and I'm pretty sure that's it. I like the wiring for this. I honestly do. I like the braided kind of pattern and the material they used because it'll last a while it'll it, because you don't want like cords to break and all this kind of other stuff I'm not too sure what this is however but I guess we'll find out it's just a regular USB you plug it into your computer yeah sorry it's not wireless but it still does look pretty pretty amazing it does light up there's an LED on and off button down here on the bottom of the mouse it's pretty nice I really do like it a lot and all right, so now from the mouse, let's just move right over into the internals of the box because there was some other stuff. So here we have a couple of stickers. Those go for the bottom of the mouse to replace them, I guess, after they can get worn down, I guess. That's really nice. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna keep these because I definitely don't want to have slow traction and have it stopping on me because you know gaming obviously requires that I guess we have to install the mouse for some reason I'm, I'm not sure and here is a manual user manual I guess it sh yeah it shows you how to install the mouse yeah all right I'll look into that later but I also want to say Holy crap, the white the white and gold looks nice. I, I maybe, I don't know. The black and silver sort of, sort of goes with my colors, but the white and gold seems pretty nice. So if that's your kind of setup, then you know, you go ahead and do that. It's, it's all good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I will try out the mouse for at least a week and tell you guys what I think about the mouse and all of its properties by the end of the week. Hopefully, it's not too bad. I have high hopes for this mouse, considering the quality of it. Like, this is some really soft kind of plastic, and a lot of it is metal. Like, a lot of it is metal, I think. I don't know. No, maybe it's just plastic. Oh, well. It's still pretty nice. I like the quality of it. I like the shape, I like everything. I like this little rest for your thumb. I like the buttons. I will be using this a lot. Hope you know. It's, it's sort of my thing. So, yeah, I will get back to you guys in a week. So, yeah, see you then. 
Alright guys, so I'm back here once again, and today, like I said, we're going to be giving the final review for this gaming mouse. And if you're wondering about this, it's another video. Go check it out. So, the gaming mouse. I have a couple things to say about this, some good, some bad. Everything has its flaws, you know the deal. So this, this mouse, has a good potential for being a good gaming mouse. Like, the design of it, the feel, it's all very, I love it, the soft plastic, all everything, the multiple buttons that you can change, it's all perfect, you know, pretty much every gamer's dream mouse right here. The only problem was, I was not able to use any of those functions. The buttons did not work for me. Only one did, and that was the side here, and basically in any game, if you hit that button once in the game, it would make your character do whatever the left mouse button action was twice. So the reason these buttons did not work is because the package does come with a mini disc, and my computer sadly does not take mini discs, so it couldn't even install the actual program that you're supposed to have in the computer in order to, you know, play the mouse. So if you have a mini disc CD tray thing, yeah, it'll work for you, but if you don't, then don't bother with this mouse unless you're just showing it off. But yeah, that, that was kind of, that wasn't the best. I didn't like that, you know. Some, I thought that the mouse would just be automatically compatible with a computer. Once you plug it in, it would just read all the buttons, and especially in-game. Like, I don't care if the computer can't read it, but in the game, if the game can read it and I can change actions in the games to the actions, to the different buttons, then I'd be happy. But it sadly does not do that. Kind of disappointed. Yeah. On the bottom, you have the option of LED on or off. And I was actually surprised. You can change the color of the lighting. Uh, there are four colors. I can't remember exactly what they are. I think it's red, pink, blue, and green. Um, basically, you, you hit this big button right in the middle and it changes it. And not only does it change the color, it also changes the mouse sensitivity for any kind of gaming you may need, you may need or you may want. You know, that kind of event or whatever that you m might need a certain type of sensitivity for a cer certain type of gaming. Uh, yeah, I think it went in the list of red was the slowest, pink was the fastest, green was n sort of normal, and blue was a little bit faster than green. I was playing on blue a lot, just like that good feel. I felt like pink was a little bit too fast for the gaming that I do, so. But unless you're one of those like insane people that can play on really high sensitivity, go for it. And I'm pretty sure you might be able to just, um, if you can install the mini disc, I'm pretty sure you can change that in the computer and it'll go even faster or slower, however you want it. You can pretty much do anything you want with it. So yeah, that I like that you can change the settings on that, like not only the color, but that sensitivity, it was, I like that. That was a good option to have and I'm glad that you didn't need the mini disc for that. You could just have it straight plugged in and yeah. Uh, one thing I didn't like was the, the the fact that it's wired. Wireless mouse, wireless mice are becoming very popular, and there's a good reason for that, especially among gamers. You don't have to worry about a whole bunch bunch of mess of wires. Like computers already have enough wires as it is, but now with a mouse you can eliminate one of those things. You can also eliminate that with the keyboard. Those are. Those are decent, but a gaming mouse, gaming keyboard, whatever it may be, wireless, pretty good way to go. Especially if they are very good. You have to have that, presi that precision. But this, this wire got in the way a lot. Uh, I don't just have a blank desk. I have a couple things on my desk, and sometimes that wire got in the way, and it would mess me up in gaming, and it would just, you know, it wasn't a smooth flow. It didn't do everything that I wanted. It just got in the way, but, you know, the fact that it is, you know, meshed or whatever it is, whatever it's called, the way it's woven and designed, if you're one of those wired gaming people, 
then yeah, that's a good thing. You can, if you know, I'm just a messy person, so that was a problem for me. But for you, it might be pretty cool. The color design, I don't like how it's just red and black because the you can't change the colors and it might not match your color scheme that you have set for your, you know, play area that you have for all your computer and computer stuff. So yeah, but you know, they have the right idea, you know, everything seems pretty good. Like, this is a pretty ideal gaming mouse if you can install the disc and, you know, change everything you want. You're a clean person, you don't have to worry about the wire and all that. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, the design here, these things on the side though, I don't know, they feel, they feel kind of weird. Especially like, with my hands, I have big hands and this is a small mouse. I'm pretty sure you can adjust it, but I didn't even try to adjust it. I thought it was fine, but... I thought it was, I thought these things were really necessary, they're just design, I guess. So yeah. So I hope this helped you guys, uh, I, you know, to either buy or not buy this product. Buy it if you have the mini disc, like I said, but don't save your money for something else that you can be certain will, you know, be compatible with whatever you have. Make sure that's something that you do. So yeah, thank you for joining me this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.